Good morning and welcome back to the Agile show where we educate and entertain. Remember, we have actually come to the end of our videos based on the budget. Sorry, I think how there's one remaining that is the cash budget will will be handled in this video, but for today we'll be checking on this calculation here. Remember, if you are new to this channel, just must subscribe, like, share, and comment on our videos. So the question states that National House Limited commenced a business on 1st May 2020. The company has approached their bankers for overdraft facilities. The bank has in turn demanded a cash flow, uh, a cash flow statement in support of their request. The following information has been assembled for the purpose so they gave that data there the sales and purchases per month given in the year 2020 then we are told that it is established that 60 percent of the customers pay within the month of sale 20 percent the month following the month of sale and 15 percent the month following while the balance is normally uncollectable so that is the data we're going to use to calculate the first part of this question here if you can check at part e we are talking about a record to calculate the sales or data collection schedule on a monthly basis for the month of may to september 2020 so that is the calculation you are going to handle in this video and remember uh, it is not affected by this additional information here we are only going to use this additional information affecting the sales so to start we are going to uh, calculate this we are told from may to september may to september so we are having there may june july august august and september those months then the next thing that will follow is we'll check for the sales we'll look for the sales in each of the months sales and we'll come back to our question here the sales from may to september those are given 200 that way and they are actually in thousands so remember all the values here will be in thousands so may was 200 uh, june 200 july 380 thousand uh, the other month is 560 thousand and september was 620 thousand so those are our sales then what will follow is the receipts the receipts now remember we are preparing the data's collection schedule receipts receipts we are going to use now this additional information here we were told 60 percent pay within the month so that is in cash 60 cash which is 60 percent so 60 percent of this remember these are just the sales that were made in those periods so 60 percent of 200 is 120 60 percent of this still 120 six percent of 380 is you can just fit that into a calculator 228 then here 60 percent of 560 having 336 then uh, 60% of 620 is 372. Then moving on, we were told 20% the month following the month of sale. 20% in the month following the month of sale. So 20%, about 20%, uh, one month. Remember, this will be received one month after the time that the payment will be received for this will be a month after so that means we will be having 20 percent 
of what? Remember, for them to receive payment in May, that sale was supposed to have been made in April, and we don't have that data. So here, there will be nothing. Then for this month, for June, we'll be having 20% of May sale, which is 200. We'll have our 40 here. Then July payment, uh, the receipt uh, in July will be 20% of that in June, which is uh, 200 will still be 40 then here we are having uh, it will be uh, 20 percent of july sale 380 20 percent of that you get your 76 then september receipt here will be 20 percent of august sale which will be 112 hope you are together up to that point then we are told again if you check in here that 15% the month following, 15% the month following. So 15% will now be in two months, two months after. Two months after, that means for May, there will be no data. For uh, the amount received in June, that will be a sale made in April, there will be no data. Then now, july sale will be 15 percent of may sale which was 200 what are we getting there it will be 30 here will be 15 percent of june sale which is 30 then again 15 percent of july sale because i think about two months back so it would be 50 percent of uh, the july sale which will find this to be 57 so our total receipt here will be 120 for may here it will be 160 remember this is just uh, 120 plus this you're just adding the receipts here it will be if you add that 298 then here if you add this plus this plus this you get your 442 then lastly, the last part is 72 plus 112 plus 57, you get your 541. So that is our uh, sales or data collection schedule for this company. I'm your teacher, Julius Joseph. We meet in the next video where we'll be uh, looking for what is termed as the purchase schedule on a monthly basis.